Now, I would like to introduce you uh, Denis Imshirovich, and uh, in his uh, uh, family, uh, the, the wine producing, it is really, it is really long tradition. And I think uh, he is the one of the best expert of wine. Uh, and please uh, tell me uh, in a nutshell about uh, the b- wines of Bella Crena. Well, in Bella Crena we have a lot of uh, vineyards. Uh, it is uh, from the history, from the past. Every, every family had its own vineyards, own wine cellar. Uh, so we have really a lot of them. The uh, problem in the market is that uh, they are very small. So its uh, quantities are small and it's hard to sell it. But uh, it is a very uh, deep tradition in this area. So we are very proud of our wines and uh, everything. So uh, just as with every other family, so also other ours had uh, we have long tradition through my grandfather, his father, and back. So um, since our uh, capacity with uh, wine wine cellar grew, then I decided to study food technology uh, to go forward uh, with this uh, with good knowledge, so that you don't do it uh, just with some knowledge which is uh, passed from uh, one uh, family to other family. Can you uh, tell me some favorite, famous Bella Kraina as wine? Uh, we have uh, two wines which are protected in uh, uh, its name are protected and uh, area where it can be produced uh, in a way that protection goes through all the world, you know. It's Belokranec and Metliška Čarnina. Uh, these are also the two wines uh, which are produced uh, in the larger, uh, largest uh, capacities. Uh, Belokranec, we have it now in our glass. It's uh, white kive, uh, so it's a mixture of a uh, few sorts. Uh, the main uh, sort is uh, Laški Riesling. Uh, it's, uh, 60% is uh, uh, inside of this one, it's a uh, Riesling. Then we have one local sort, uh, Kraljevina, 30% of it uh, has to be inside, and 10% uh, other uh, varieties, at least three other sorts. So, uh, but the very important uh, thing is that uh, none of the variety is, uh, uh, it can be acknowledged when you smell it, you know. It has to be nice wine, smell uh, blended. Uh, this wine is very dry, completely dry. It has alcohol, uh, let's say, between 10.5 and 11.5 and very nice acids. It's very, very drinkable uh, wine. Uh, also, it can be combined with a lot of different food. Uh, it's uh, also very, very balanced between the, the body from this wine and also drinkability. So, because when you have some wines which are very, very strong, you know, you can also not drink a lot, you know. But this wine is just in the right spot so that uh, you can also have it for some celebration, for uh, when you have birthday or anything else. You mentioned uh, Martino Vagna. Yes, uh, Martino Vagna is a very big uh, celebration in our area. Uh, we celebrate when juice becomes wine, young wine actually, because uh, becomes young wine. And we also have a uh, competition. Winemakers bring their uh, samples of their wine and uh, experts uh, taste it and uh, give, uh, they give scores and everything. So then in the end we have a big event uh, for a whole weekend. There are also very, very rich uh, program uh, during this Martinovania, also in the evening uh, uh, for uh, we have uh, singers and uh, people can dance and everything but main point is that we attract as much people as possible and that they can taste our uh, new year uh, new young wines. It is something also special here in Martinovania in Chernobyl because uh, no uh, none of the winemakers can come and uh, be there as uh, its own producer, you know. 
you have to give uh, your new wine, uh, you have to get good uh, this uh, score, and only the best wines then can be on this event. So it's not your choose that you, would, you could pay and I would have wine there. You have to have good wine and you, you are there. And also uh, we present our wines uh, from where they come. Because we have uh, these uh, different uh, spots in Vela Kraina, uh, different hills. Uh, and uh, every region has some speciality, you know, a little bit less some uh, south side and everything. So this is why also uh, wines from one region are uh, on one spot. So you can actually come to this event, go through it, taste the wines and somehow actually go through Bela Traina and try these wines. I, I have already participated in uh, uh, Portugaca. Mm -hmm. And can you tell me some words about this event because it is related also? Portugalca is actually a variety of wine, it's a red uh, sort, uh, it's a uh, main uh, point of what it is about, it is that uh, this uh, wine made from this variety ages really quickly, very very quickly this wine is very smooth, very drinkable, uh, already a young wine and uh, it became very popular in the last years, it's somehow like uh, French Beaujolais, uh, but it's a local variety here in our uh, in Bela Crena. So uh, I know that uh, winemakers don't have enough uh, plants of it. Uh, everything is sold very quickly, and also Portugal can be uh, officially sold until the last day of January in the next year. So it has a short period of time when it's the best and later on, if perhaps somebody doesn't sell it, they mix it into, let's say, Metliška Chamina or some other wines. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell me some other, uh, other wine uh, brand regarding Velakraina? Yes, uh, these days we have a lot of different varieties. Uh, also, we have white wines, also red wines. But let's start with white. We have uh, Lashki Riesling, Kerensky Riesling. These are two different Rieslings. Uh, Chardonnay, Muscat, uh, Pinot Blanc, Billy Pinot, uh, Zelene Silvanet, Silvaner, uh, which are Kerner also, even more, but these are uh, can be found in larger quantities and from the red varieties uh, the main, uh, most important uh, is the Modra Frankina uh, and Jamekna Chamina, then we also have Zweigelt, Portugalka, uh, Game and some other but this which I uh, counted are uh, always uh, everywhere can be uh, tasted mostly yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, Bella Crena is the most uh... Is this the best place for wine producing or in Slovenia, I mean? Well, Slovenia is a very interesting, it's a small country, but we have very different uh, also the weather and the region. Uh, mostly we somehow say we have uh, three parts here, South Slovenia, North Slovenia and uh, uh, part by the sea, because near the sea there are uh, higher temperatures, uh, more sun. Uh, main difference is that uh, wines produced near uh, the sea, they harvest it uh, uh, earlier and they always have very very high uh, sugars. Uh, this also means that they, if they have dry wine it's usually with a lot of alcohol. Uh, it's, it gives different character, uh, so it depends also on people what they like. Uh, but here in Bela Kraina uh, we are very happy. This spot is very nice also because we get some of the influence uh, to the weather from the sea through Croatia because it's south of Slovenia and uh, today in Bela Krajina we have almost everything what wine can provide from ordinary still uh, white wines to uh, dry wines, semi-dry, semi-sweet, uh, 
sweet wines, uh, this predicat, uh, uh, ice wines, or how should we say. Uh, and then we have very nice red wines, uh, also some nice rosés and everything. Then we have producers who have uh, sparkling wines. So now we also have in Belakrin a very broad range of uh, sparkling wines, special sparkling wines also from red varieties, also with different additions and everything. Uh, and also winemakers who have uh, a lot of, as I told you before, this late harvest ice, ice wine. So uh, whatever you, your heart can wish, which type of wine we, we can provide it here in Villa Green. And what's your favorite wine? <laughs> My favorite, you know. Uh, one great winemaker uh, once was asked uh, which he, he got three very, very high scores on one competition. And they asked him which of these wines is favorite to him. And he told them that uh, it's like they would ask him, uh, I have three daughters, which daughter I love the most, you know, it's like that. I love uh, every wine. Uh, when we uh, think about wine, we always have to ask uh, ourselves uh, when will we drink it, for what opportunity, with what food. So for me, it everything depends on the, the uh, environment, where we are, what we will eat with it. And uh, so I enjoy very much uh, Frankina, it's very good. Uh, sometimes I like some uh, fresh rosé. Many times uh, during uh, the hot uh, summer, uh, the Lokranet is very good because it's a little bit lighter. And sometimes you can also drink some of the sweet wines with uh, uh, friends, with uh, women like it.